Hi guys, it's me again. <laughs> um, I'm working hard trying to get these videos done. Cause I need to get this stuff taken care of. But um, today we are going to do boxy charm, and this is like my second favorite box, so we're going to get into it. Um, if you don't know what boxy charm is, where have you been living? Is it under a really nice rock that you? No, I'm kidding. Um, boxy charm is a $21 a month subscription that comes to your house every month packaged up like this so you know right away when you pull it out of your mailbox or you pull mail off your porch wherever the mailman leaves it that's gonna be what you end up seeing all right well this month a lot of people there was a lot of hate for this box like a ton if you haven't seen the spoilers I'm not gonna say anything because you're going to finish watching this video because you're going to find out what the hype was about. I was one of those people when I seen the spoilers, I was like, ooh, oh, mm-hmm, yeah, that, I want that. All right, this box is about to explode. It comes in. I like how they're packaging it now. You know, it keeps everything nice and tight in there, so hopefully no breakage. It does come with... What is this? Oh, that's right. They changed it. It used to be like a card or something, I believe. Now it's a full thingy like this that tells you what's in your box and what the full size prices are. So, let's get into it. And we're just going to go ahead, right out the door, we're going to put it out there. The eyeshadow palette. This is an Alamar. I've heard people saying it, and I've been trying to practice myself saying it so I wouldn't say something stupid and I probably did because I'm human um it says it's Rena Del Caribbean I don't know it says this palette features eight highly opaque shades reminiscent of the beauty and culture of Cuba Ooh. dive into the pigments and pearls found in the intense metallics or ground your more intense or, what the? See, this is the problem. The letters are too small and trying to read sentence as fast as possible. This is what happens. Stumble, stumble. Blah. Um, look with the warm richness of the creamy mattes for a more intense application. Refer to the shade names that feature a water droplet that can be used with a wet brush. And the sun symbol. I knew I forgot to do something in my swatches. Too late. Those are already recorded. There is swatches. There are <sighs> me attempting to put on makeup skits throughout the video like I normally attempt to try to do. I'm trying to make sure it's in all my videos. All right, it says full size price, which is this, be $28. That's not a bad price. All right, in fact, go ahead and uh, watch some swatches and see what I did with my eyes because I'm not very sure how I feel about my look today. So maybe somebody down below could tell me something I could have done differently.
they swatch really, really nicely. Um, there's not a whole, if you're a person that just wants to work out of one palette, this is not for you. Nope. I mean, the lightest shade they got is the Coco Taxi, which is this orangish color right here. So if you want to set your whole eyelid, you're going to have to do it with your setting powder or you're going to have to pull another palette out just for that. So there you go. Um, I mean, those colors are pretty. Now this, I'm not even gonna pronounce it. This dark blue one right here, I went through two makeup wipes. They're crappy makeup wipes in the first place, but I went through two of them just to get that swatch off my finger. So that one seems like it's got some staying power. I probably should have played with that, but I will play with that another time. Um, between my eyes, I've got a few spots on my eyes. It made it a little bit difficult to blend, but I know I'm wearing a hat. But you did kind of see a little bit of the application that I did. So it's not a bad palette. I'm going to keep playing with it. I'm going to see what it does when I try on all the different colors. Not at one time, but you know, throughout. The next thing is in the box, and there was a lot of people complained about this when they seen the spoilers is the Baddington Monroe Silk Lashes. They're supposed to be made with 100% silk and impressive durability allowing up to 25 applications with proper care. They're adding volume and length to your lashes. The complaint people had and I've got an eye situation going on so I wasn't going to play with these just yet. There's people complaining because it didn't come with nail glue. Or nail glue. Don't break, don't put nail glue with the eyelashes. Oh my god. Um, it didn't come with eye eyelash glue. Oh wow. Um, I know how frustrating that could be if you're first starting out with those, but I've got like six different types of eyelash glue that I will be trying out as soon as my medical situation is taken care of. They're very soft, a lot softer than the ones that I've tried before. But they look like they're gonna be ginormous for my eyeballs. I'll give them a try and when I do, I'll make sure it's in a video and I'll give a little shout out for that. I will give that a try. And the next thing we have, ooh. I know people are complaining about this. this there was so much going on about this box once people seen spoilers. But it's the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream by Sol de Janeiro. Oh, I love this stuff, but it's so expensive. And people are like, well, why aren't we getting a full size? Well, this box, I knew I probably should have grabbed my full size. I've got the every size now that they have. There's no way. And there's a lot of people that's not tried this yet because it is so expensive. So this gives them a chance to try it out, see if they even like it, and see if they want to splurge one day or put it on a Christmas list or honey-do list. Honey, go to Ulta and buy me some bum-bum cream. <laughs> but this stuff smells amazing. Oh, this one's got safety sale, so I can't smell it. I've got another one in there. I'll probably start with the little ones first. But it smells like pistachios. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it smells like. At least to me. I don't know if that's what it was supposed to smell like. But it tightens and smooths like no other. I like it. Alright. And we have Luxie brushes. Now, I didn't use any of these today. You want to know why? Because in my, like, year and a half of doing YouTube... And getting boxes and stuff I actually have two of each one of these brushes sitting over there in my jar of brushes so guess what guys this is going into a giveaway it's a Luxie 516 duo fiber brush and the Luxie 660 precision foundation brush which that don't use that for foundation Use something else. That brush does not work well with foundation. At least what I've tried and what I've seen other people doing. Luxie 522 Tapered Highlight Brush. And I hear the highlight brush is pretty good, but, you know. 
Use them however you want. This makeup is supposed to be fun. It is what it is. Oh. Well, I didn't try everything out in the box because I didn't open this up and something was stuck in the bottom. Oh, so we'll go ahead and do that. This is Jante Blue Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. 100% vegan waterproof eyeliner pencil glides on smooth for an elevated eye look used along the upper lash line or water line and it retails for five dollars I'm not even going to open this and swatch it. I don't do so well with Jante Blue Jante Blue, however you want to say it. I don't do so well with it. It doesn't do what I want So it is a dark brown color. Did it say what it was? Mm, yeah, just says dark brown. That I'm gonna go ahead and put in the giveaway. It might work on somebody else, but for me, it doesn't work. And the last thing that's in the box is an Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick. And let's see, it says full lip color that doesn't feather. These vibrant colors will give you a vivacious new look. They are creamy, soft, and in texture, moisturizing the lips and creating a long-lasting lipstick effect. No need to use lip liner. This liquid lipstick gives you a beautiful edge to your lip look. The full price would be $21. And I have Verona. You know what? <laughs> Time for a lippy video. No offense, it's pretty in the container, but as soon as I apply it to my hand, I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's not my color. That... It looks more pinkish in the tube, but as soon as you put it down, it, it, it's a brown. It's, it's something I'll end up passing on to my mom because um, it's not my color. The formula wasn't too bad of what I tried because as soon as I was done with that, I was like, no, we gotta find something else, something else to put on our lips. I went through like two other something else's. All right, what did you guys think of BoxyCharm? Did you get BoxyCharm yourself? You know, did was there a different variation that you got, like something different? I don't know. Um, I do have a couple subscriber giveaways going on and as of noon today, I got a great phone call about a new subscriber giveaway that I will be starting pretty soon. I think I might wait until these two other giveaways are done, but I kind of want to get into it. So we'll see where I'm at on Monday, if I tell you guys, like on Monday or if I'm going to wait till the first. Um, what do you think of my eye look? I know it's hard to see. We'll get up here. Any closer? Nah. All right. Um, what could I have done different? I'm not sure I, I like it, but we'll find out how my husband feels about it when he gets home. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button so everybody else can see this. That was thunder. <laughs> Great. Um, and leave a comment. I will chit chat with you later. <laughs>